everyone, it's Debbie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you're new here, I'm a reseller. I've been reselling for 17 and a half years. And today I have a what sell video for you. I'm going to share 15 items that sold last week, which was February 13th through 20th, 2022. I sold 28 items for a gross amount of $805.50. But before we get started, I need to announce the winner of the inventory giveaway. If this is your first time visiting this channel, I have an inventory giveaway on the 15th of every month. And this one was kind of unique because I presented 40 items and whoever wins gets to pick the 20 items that they would like for me to send to them free of charge. And then I will list the other 20 items and I will keep track of how I do on those items and of course share them in my what sold video but I want the person that wins to do really well and hopefully they will do better on their 20 items than I do on my 20 items because they get to pick the best 20 items but all 40 items are great the word to enter this month giveaway was sell and I thought it was so neat to learn what platforms each of you sell on so thank you for sharing that I love learning more about each of you and I want this YouTube channel not just to be me sharing things but I love learning things from you guys also and hopefully we can all work together and make this a community where we all can share information and help each other do better. We'll break here and I will show you the screen recording of who won. Okay, here we go again. I absolutely love these giveaways. I'm always so excited when it comes time to do the drawing. I set my phone to do the screen record and right when it turned nine o'clock, as you can see up in the left-hand corner, I hit start and the winner is Monique Clampert. Congratulations, Monique. So congratulations to Monique. If you just email me at love 2 shop 242 at gmail.com and tell me the 20 items that you would like for me to send, I will get them sent right out to you free of charge. Then I will list the remaining 20 items and when they sell, I will be sure to have those in my what sold videos. So if you're not subscribed and would like to join me again and see how those other items do, hit the subscribe button down below. And if you hit the notification bell, it will notify you when I release new videos. We will start on eBay. I had the most items and the highest profit on eBay. I sold 15 items for $431.72. Three items all came from the series where I showed everything that I do from start to finish to list items. The first one was a Ralph Lauren Blue Label Men's Silk Wool Cashmere Blend Blazer Sport Coat Jacket size 40 regular. I picked that up because of the material content. I knew with the silk wool and cashmere that it would sell well. It sold for $54.84. My earnings were $34.82. I paid just $6.79 at the regular Goodwill. It took two months and 25 days to sell, and my profit was $28.03. The next one also came from that series. This was the Lula Row Sarah Long Duster Open Cardigan Blue Paisley. It had pockets. I also put robe because I saw some sold comps that also said robe for this and it was a size large. I had never picked up LuLaRoe and I just started picking it up maybe a year ago and they've all sold really well. This one took the longest, but it sold for $26.89. My earnings were $16.58. I paid $6.19 at the regular Goodwill. It took 2.5 months to sell and my profit was $10.39. So I will keep on picking up LuLaRoe if the comps show that I think it will sell. I always look up the comps. I've come across a lot that I put back because they did not look like they would sell well. But if the comps are good, I will keep picking it up. The next one I loved, it was Vintage Vanity Fair Velour Long Robe House Coat Nightgown USA, because it was made in the USA, size small, zip up. If ever it has a zip, sure to put zip in the title. Vanity Fair is one that has sold the entire time I have been a reseller. I love selling it. I just think it's really neat to get those items from years ago. These are like so 70s. They are a velour and they are Vanity Fair and some Vanity Fair can go for so much money. And there is the Vanity Fair tag made in the USA. So I got not just one, but two. Look at the front of this. This reminds me of pictures that I saw of my mom. I paid $4.69 each. 
I value them at just 30 to 35, but I'll list them higher. I'll probably list them for about $50 and see what happens, but just conservative estimate, 30 to 35. For $51.80, my earnings were $34.97. I paid $4.69 at my regular of Goodwill, and it took three months and seven days to sell. My profit was $30.28, so I think that's an excellent return on investment. Got two Vanity Fair velour robes that day, and they both sold now at great profit, so I'm really happy with those, and I will continue picking up Vanity Fair. It is something that I really enjoy selling. I already got feedback on the item. It was really nice. And I think it's neat also to be able to help people find those items from in the 70s. The next one was a Goodwill bins fine. I go to the bins in Oklahoma City. It is only 99 cents a pound for clothing if I purchase 25 pounds or more and I never have any trouble finding 25 pounds or more. This was the Linea Donatella beaded satin short gown night gown baby doll ivory tied in the back it sold for $26.36 my earnings were $18.09 I paid just 23 cents at the Goodwill Outlet Center or the bins and it only took 28 days to sell my profit was $17.86. The next one was an international sell. And a reminder, if you're already selling on eBay, it is so easy to add in international shipping. And it's really fun to be able to see where these items go to. This was the Cabbage Patch Kids Blonde Girl Vintage Xavier Roberts 1984 doll. It sold for $31.74. My earnings were $18.93. I paid just 79 cents at the Goodwill bins and this was in houseware so it would have been just 69 cents a pound. It took nine months and 18 days to sell and my profit was $18.14. I offer the global shipping program. I will also offer eBay standard international shipping and first class international. If they choose the global shipping program, it ships to Kentucky. But if you go into their username, you can see where they're located at. So you can still see where they're from. And this person was from the United Kingdom. So I thought that was pretty neat. The next one came from a recent haul. This was a pair of snow pants, and I actually tried them on at the end, and I used them to walk outside to our shop, and they were so nice and warm, and now there is snow and ice again, and today I was like, oh, I kind of wish I had them, but I'm, I'm happier that they sold. This was the Burton BioLite Snowboard Ski Pants, unisex. I put that they probably were a women's large because they measurements were more accurate for a women's large and not a men's large. So I put they would probably fit a men's size medium. I think it is helpful when an item has an adjustable waistband to let them know kind of the mid range of the waist. So this one measures 34 inches, but I remind them that it can cinch smaller or it can loosen up to have a larger waist size. That way it fits more sizes. This item had a few flaws, but I did not let that keep me from listing them because the sell-through rate is excellent on this brand. I started with a positive and let them know that these pants were very clean inside and out, but they did have a few flaws. There was a raised area on the fabric where it was like a pull. There was another area where the fabric was cut. There was also a name written inside. So I just took good photographs of all of those and pointed it out and it still sold in nine days. Sell-through rate is everything. They sold for $39.46. My earnings were $22.29. I paid just $5.89 at my regular Goodwill. They took just nine days to sell. My profit was $16.40. That haul has been great. So many of the things have sold already. So if you haven't watched that haul, you might want to go back and watch it because a lot of those items have sold quickly. So they might give you ideas of things that you can look out for. The next one also came from that same haul. This was the Nike Air Max 90 Girls Youth Sneakers, size 11C, which is narrow. They were white, pink, and gray, and I put the style number, and I wasn't really sure how great they would do because they didn't have the insoles in them, but they sold just fine, so apparently they did well. They were also narrow, so I was sure to put in the listing that they were narrow. They sold for $33.86. My earnings were $21.66. I paid $5.75 at my regular Goodwill, and they only took 13 days to sell. My profit was $15.91. 
The next one came from a Thread Up Rescue shoe box. Oh my gosh, do you see all those birds? I'm sitting at this angle today because it's snowing outside. So when I do that, I put a lot of bird feed on the ground outside and the red cardinals come like crazy. One day there were probably 50 of them out there. So I've been watching them all day. So I set my camera like this so I could see when the red cardinals came because they'll also come in that tree. And so it's very distracting. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that, but oh my gosh, do you see those? Anyway, okay, so these were the Susina Pellin Almond Toe Suede Leather Slip-On Loafer Shoe Size 10 Medium. I put that they were taupe brown. They sold for $24.61. My earnings were $10.12. I paid $5.62. They were in my fourth Thread Up Rescue Box. I've had six so far. They've all been excellent. They took four months and 24 days to sell. My profit was only $4.50 on this pair, but there were other pairs that sold for a lot more, and overall, those boxes have been excellent. Add a few liquidation items. I'm starting since Poshmark has just come to such a screeching halt for me. I've been really working on putting some items that I thought were oversaturated on eBay that I only had on Poshmark. I'm starting to cross-list them to eBay and they're selling. One of them is the new with tags, it's Intimately Free People in the Sun Brahmi Crop Top. I have it in extra small, small, medium, and large. So I did a multi-quantity listing. I had a lot of these, like a bucket full of them. I'm down to only six left. This one sold for $24.45. My earnings were $15.64. I paid just $3.59. They, this one took just nine days after cross-listing it. I've had these for one year and eight months, but since cross-listing it to eBay, it's only taken nine days to sell, and my profit is $12.05. Next, we will move to Poshmark. Oh my goodness, Poshmark is still really slow for me. Usually, Poshmark is my highest performing platform just in the last year and a half or so. Before that, eBay was my only platform and I sold a lot more back then. I have not been listing on eBay as much, so I wouldn't expect to have as many sales, but I'm trying to ramp it back up there. Poshmark made the change on the search and my sales just plummeted. And then they said they were going back to searching by just shared. I've continued to share throughout the entire thing, but my sales are still really slow. And when I do checks and I list something and look for it, I'm still having trouble finding my items. So something's still a little off, but that's okay. I'm still listing. Things will come back. If not, I have eBay, Mercari, a little bit of Facebook marketplace. So I'm just going to keep on working on listing, not put all my eggs in one basket and only list on one platform. On Poshmark, I sold 10 items. So I'm going to share three of the sales with you because the others are not great <laughs> and they're things that I've shared before. The first one was pretty good. This was the Sorel Ella Sea Salt Leather Slip-On Shoe in size seven and a half. It sold for $28. My earnings were $22.40. I paid $6.60. That was in another Thread Up Rescue shoe box. They took five months and one day to sell and my profit was $15.80, which is great. I thought that they could sell higher. I thought they sold comp they would sell between $35 and $45, but they really didn't have that much activity. And I was desperate for sales on Poshmark. So when I got an offer for $28, I took it and I am happy with it. The next one was from another Thread Up Shoe Rescue Box. This was the Universal Thread Rowan Flip Flops Shoes Sandals Thong Size 7. They were lavender and brown. They sold for $13. My earnings were $7.59. I paid just $5.62 in the Thread Up Rescue Box number six, and they took 47 days to sell. My profit was only $1.97 on that one, but there were others that sold for a lot. And I also wanted to mention that I have had several people tell me that they like to see how I clean and prep items and list items, and my Thread Up Shoe Rescue Box videos have a lot of that in there. In the one, in the, in the Thread Up, rescue box with the Sorel shoes. I show cleaning them. I think I show researching how to use Google Lens, some listing, a lot of those. I don't just do the unboxing. I show part of the listing process and the cleaning. So if you're interested in that, those are good videos to go back and watch. The next one was the Zara Woman's Vest Waistcoat. It had silver rivets. It was white, long, jacket, size, small. 
It sold for $30. My earnings were $24. I paid just $8.59. It took two months to sell, and my profit was $15.40. I thought this one would sell for about 40 or $45. However, with how this last couple of weeks has gone on Poshmark, I was willing to take lower offers. A lot of my items on Poshmark that I did sell, I took a lot lower offers just because I wanted to get those sales. I could have probably held out longer and with that being white and sleeveless, if I had held on a little longer, I could get more, but I made a decision that I wanted to sell it now and get some sales on Poshmark and it was okay to take less. Definitely happens when things are slow I let things go for less money when I'm having just tons of sales and things are great then I usually will hold out a little bit more and then Macari did great this week for how many items I have listed on Macari and for it being a newer platform for me. I am really happy with three sales for $150.78. The first item was a same day sale within just a few hours. This was the Vineyard Vines men's swim trunk size small. They were a seersucker material. They were blue and white. They had a drawstring. They sold for $29.18. My earnings were $19.73. I paid just 69 cents at the Goodwill outlet or the bins. They sold the same day within just a few hours and my profit was $19.04. The next one, I was so thrilled with this one. This came from that haul that I was talking about that a lot of things have sold really quickly. This was the Kate Spade Cameron Street Clarice Crossbody Bag Purse. Leather, multi was the official color of it, but it was green and beige, so I put green and beige also. It sold for $83.18. My earnings were $66.77. I paid $27.04 at my regular Goodwill, and it took just 16 days to sell. My profit was $39.73. I was really, really happy with that one. The next one was a pair of women's Genuine Coach Sydney Monogram Peep Toe Wedges, size eight and a half. They were brown and tan. They sold for $38.42. My earnings were $24.96 minus $1 because I put a dollar in the package. I'll tell you about that in a minute. So it was really $23.96. I paid just $2.50 at the Goodwill bins. I cross-listed these from Poshmark to Macari and they sold the same day as cross-listing them. I cross-listed them at 7.53 a.m. and they sold at 2.54 p.m. So I was really happy with that and my profit was $21.46. The person was a brand new person on Macari and they sent a message to me and asked if I would take, I think it was $28. And I said, yes. She had said that she wanted to buy them for her mom. And so I was like, oh, how sweet. And so she sent me an offer and it wouldn't let her send one for 28. So she went ahead and sent one for 29. I accepted. She sent a message back to me and said it wouldn't let her send it for that amount. So I said, well, I'll just put a dollar in your package then. And we had a really nice interaction. So so that was great. And I always enjoy those type of sales. I was thrilled with Macari and I'm going to continue to cross list to Macari. I'm mainly focusing on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. But this weekend is the Friends of Library book sale. So that's going to ramp up my Amazon because I list books on Amazon. So I should have a lot more sales on Amazon after the book sale. So over my totals out of the 28 items that I sold, 15 were thrifted, 12 were liquidation, and one was retail arbitrage. I sold 28 items for a gross amount of $805.50. Money back in the bank was $578.71. My cost of goods was $168.24, and I had a refund. And this was the refund, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about this. I went to my P.O. box, so I do not go to my P.O. box very often because I live out in the country. It's an 18 minute drive. So to get there and come back, park, go in, it usually ends up being almost an hour round trip. So when I have a return, if I'm not already going that direction, sometimes I will just go ahead and refund the buyer and just trust that everything is okay. And normally 99% of the time it is, but every once in a while it is not. And I know that is a risk. If you're a top rated seller and you
if you are a top rated seller and you offer 30 day or longer returns, you are offered some protections from eBay. If you have a false claim, I will put them on the screen so you can read all of the details. You have the ability to issue only 50% of the refund if you receive the item back and it is not as described. Had I gone to my post office earlier and checked and made sure that the item was in the same condition that I had sent it in, I could have offered a lesser refund. But to me, that hour of time was not worth it. And so I decided not to and go ahead and issue the refund. Well, this does not happen very often. These cases are so rare. In 17 and a half years of selling, there have only been a handful of times where people are actually dishonest and do the right own thing. So she sent a message to me and said that there were holes in this sweater, this Norlander sweater. And I had put that there were areas on the fabric that were not quite holes, but they were kind of indented. And I also put that there was a mark on this sweater. And so I fully described it. Well, she got it and she sent a message that had a little bit of an angry tone. And so I had kind of just a bad feeling about it. My feeling was right. I got it back. She actually cut holes in it. Let me see if I can find where it is. This hole was definitely not there. Those holes were not there. So she lied. I cannot believe I had free returns. Okay, I stumbled all over my words here. Basically what I'm saying is she would have only been out her original shipping, which would have been less than $10. So she chose to lie and destroy the sweater because it was worth it to her to get that original shipping back. The one thing that I think is if I had a brick and mortar store, I would have theft. This is kind of like having theft. And so that's okay. I'm not going to be that upset about it. This one ended up being a loss, but that's okay because there have been hundreds and thousands of tons of transactions that have been very profitable. So this is just a drop in the, in the bucket and that's okay. Now I did send a message to eBay and let them know what the person did and ask them to note it to their account. When something like this does happen, I do ask them to put it in the record. That way, if another seller comes in, that's noted and hopefully it will eventually get that person kicked off of eBay and maybe protect another seller. And after that, I had something amazing happen. I opened a package and it was from a viewer, Amy. Amy had purchased something from me and I had shared her closet in a video we we messaged back and forth and she sells a lot of the lug bags and she sent me one in the mail with the nicest card of happy valentine's card she said she thought this would be nice and a pin so i've been using this pin all day today and love it and this little bag it's like oh my gosh that is so sweet so this is the bag, super cute. So, and it's cushioned and so cute. So thank you so very much, Amy. After opening that package and seeing that return with the hole in it, you know, that's a little disappointing. I completely forgot about it and this absolutely made my day. And so I will keep this forever and I will keep this and I will think of you every time that I use them. So thank you so much. I also received another return and it was just fine. I received a package that I ordered. My daughter Sydney got a new job and she needed some new clothes. So I purchased from a viewer, Brie York, and oh my goodness, it came so nicely. She put a cute little card and she and she wrote a card for Sydney. And I don't want to open it up yet because I wanted to ask Sydney to see how nicely she wrapped it. But this is just an example. Like she tissue paper in it, a card. She has all the items wrapped individually. Just super nice. So, so thank you so much, Brie, for, for how nicely you packaged it and just the care and attention that you put into those items. So thank you so much. Okay, on eBay, I sold 15 items for a gross amount of $431.72. After fees and postage, I received back $301.92. My cost of goods was $64.75, and my profit was $237.17. On Poshmark, 10 items for $223. Money back in the bank was $165.33. My cost of goods was $73.26 and my profit was $92.07.
Macari, three items for $150.78. After fees and postage, I received back $111.46. My cost of goods was $30.23, and my profit was $81.23. So that is everything that I have for you today. If you enjoy these What Sold videos and wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I would appreciate it so much. And if you're not subscribed, I would love to have you back. Just hit the subscribe button down below. And if you hit the notification bell, it will let you know when I release new videos. Thank you so much for watching and everybody have a great day. Bye.